Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video I try to explain you why 0 factorial is equal to 1. So first of all we need to know about the definition of the factorial. So n factorial will be equal to 1 times 2 times 3 dot 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 and times times n. So this is the definition of the factorial. Of course 2 factorial is equal to 1 times 2, 3 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and is a product to this number until this number. So I want to write a previous element. So let's write n minus 1 element. So as a result we'll have that n factorial will be equal to 1 times 2 times 3 dot 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 times the previous one and times the last one times n. So I write this previous previous element. And let's find this element. So right here we will have n minus 1 elements n minus 1 factorial. Right here we have n minus 1 factorial multiplied by n and we have our n factorial. Why I write this? Because we can write that our n factorial is equal to this product n minus 1 factorial multiplying by the last one, by the one, by the n. So this is our formula that we need right now. And let's, fi let's find n minus 1 factorial from here. We need to divide in by n both sides. So n minus 1 factorial will be equal to n factorial dividing by n. And this is formula that we need. Okay, we need this formula. And take a look. If n equal to, for example, 5, what we will have? We will have that 4 factorial equal to 5 factorial dividing by 5. So this is Good. And let's get closer and closer to 0 factorial. So let's find n equal to 4. If n equal to 4, we will have that 3 factorial equal to 4 factorial over 4. Let's get in closer and closer. Let's find n equal to 3. We will have that 2 factorial equal to 3 factorial divided by 3. And let's get in closer and closer. We have, we have to find more two steps. n equal to 2. We will have that 1 factorial equal to 2 factorial over 2. And the last one, the step that we need. n equal to 1. And we will have our case. So as you can see, 4, 3, 2, 1. This will be 0 factorial. And we have a formula. If we plug in 0, if we plug in 1, we will have the 0 factorial equal to 1 factorial over 1. And of course we can calculate this. 1 factorial will be 1 and divided by 1 will be 1 as well. So from here 0 factorial is equal to is equal to 1. This is not hard logic. We find the previous element and we just get in step by step to this 0 and as you can see 0 factorial equal to 1. If you agree with this, if you disagree, maybe you have another proof to this, write your question in the comment, it will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.